everybody, Sean Kitzman from Synergy Martial Arts, and I got my buddy, Dr. Locke, Ohio Mobile Chiropractic. Uh, we came down today to train with uh, Aaron at, at the school he trains at, and um, we are going to talk about a little bit of uh, knee pain with uh, Della Hiba Guard. Um, and what we, what we kind of see uh, as neurokinetic therapy practitioners, uh, we, we look for relationship, relationships of muscles. So um, oftentimes when there's pain, there can be a group of muscles that is overworking for another group that's underworking. And one of the, uh, one of the classic overworking muscle groups in the knee is a muscle in the back of the knee called the popliteus. And what the popliteus does is it does some internal rotation and then flexion, or like foot turns in just a little bit and then pulls up, right, of the leg. And if you think about what your Delahiva guard does, so go ahead and put a Delahiva on. Yep. What is, he, what is he just doing here, right? He's doing just that. So one of the things that could be happening is that this, this popliteus here can be overworking. It can be overworking for a couple things. Um, classically, we'll first start out with uh, the deep six rotators in the hip. So um, your piriformis, the gemellus, uh, and then your obturators. <coughs> um, it can also be overworking for uh, your semi-mem and semi-tendinosis, uh, hamstring muscle groups, and possibly the adductors. But I would, I would start to look first at um, those, those uh, rotators, because what's my job? My job is to try and smash his knee out and down. And if, his, if he's going to fix that femur head or he's going to fix that hip bone in his socket, he's really going to need to kind of clench that, those glutes up so I can't turn out, yeah, just like that. Now, if that doesn't happen, that knee's going to start to come into play. One of the other things that, that we can look at, too, is we can look at um, his uh, posterior tibialis. Uh, which or tibialis posterior, which does some internal rotation of the ankle there. And um, because of the way the hook goes, see, he's got to hook that. If he just leaves it flat, just leave it flat, see, it's easy for me to step out of, right? But if he comes in here and really hooks this, really super hard for me to get out of here, and I can't pull that leg out. So if you have knee pain, um, find yourself an MKT practitioner if you can at uh, www.neurokinetictherapy.com. Um, or you can contact myself or uh, Dr. Locke here, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to maybe find you someone in your area. <clears throat> but the place I would start to look at is I would look at that popliteus and see what is it doing. Is it working or not? Because it also can be not working and still have some pain. So um, look at that knee, and uh, hopefully when you get those relationships taken care of, um, that knee pain will go away and your delicate guard will get even better. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.